mice. All withered. Not many. Iris is. <gasps> Time is not spent. Iris, Iris has no sense. Tico's riddle. We remembers. I remember. Remember what? <sighs> what if. What if. Mel doesn't need the Riddle Master anymore. Maybe Riddle Master is gone forever. I heard his voice. A ghost, perhaps. A voice in the wind. But Smeagol's here now. So lucky she met Smeagol. <laughs> we can describe gardens to her. Gardens with flowers. Look! There was irises everywhere. Yellow ones, like here, and there. Light diggle, and looked up into the sky. No, 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 wake up! We didn't do it. It wasn't us. We did nothing, nothing! You are mad. He tried to steal it. Tried to get away with our precious. Uh, Mel must believe us. She believes us, yes. No. No. Been free. You're weak. You're weak. You're weak. Mel! She doesn't hear you. Nobody hears you. You're alone. <laughs> Go away. All alone. It was you. You killed Deagle. You did it. You did. You killed him. Leave me alone. You did it all by yourself. You throttled him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Precious. Precious. Precious? My precious? Mel? Mel?
this can't be the other side. No, it's not. <laughs> Finally. We told you he wouldn't get far. Please, Spiegel is good now. Our king has a few questions for you. And wouldn't some answers be sweet? Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. No, nothing. No voices. Hello, Smeagol. So well behaved lately. How can I pester you now without torturing my conscience? Have the elves found her? No, I'm afraid not. I don't think there is much hope she's coming back. Face it, she used you. And then she left you behind. We warned you to keep your distance. Anyway, Neldis has asked for you. She's upstairs with her lanterns. Be so kind and pay her a visit. has no scent and nothing I can marvel without you. Hello, Smeagol. Elf, very pretty. Am I not? It's Midsummer Day. We must all look our most beautiful tonight. Even you. I shall make you a wreath of laurels. Oh, you will hate it. What's she doing? Preparing lanterns for tonight. What's tonight? Tonight is Midsummer Night. We will all be out in the woods celebrating. Not you, perhaps. We will see. Is there something I can do for you? If the Riddle Master was alive... Ah, here we go again. I wish he were, I truly do, but I fear it was just one of Mel's dreams. He is gone, and now she is too. Nice, nice lanterns, but two of them aren't shining. Oh, yes. The children love to take my light stones up to the gardens to play. Would you not help me find them? They look like shining marbles, big as your eyes. Smeagol can help. Yes, I can find strange lights. Someone's in a good mood for a change. all alone. She's going to find her riddle master. Of course she is. Maybe Smeagol can find him too. Don't break anything again. Shh, quiet. Good, good. That must be one of her lights. Maybe he just needs more time. I truly think he's getting better. <laughs> quiet. Yesterday, he collected shells from the river for Dalvon, and today, he's helping Neldis with her lights. The honorable deeds of Smeagol. I do not care if he starts writing poetry. If kindness will not help, we must find different measures. I must know what he told Gandalf. A, a swarm of truthlings has been visiting your gardens lately. Good. Good. Whatever it takes. 
I don't like this plan. I know. True fiends, yes. But Bell taught us how to trick them. Lyrel, dwarf beard rootsies. That's what we need. Do they? What about? The precious, of course. The precious. We want it. We want it. We want it. No. No, we hate it. I hate it. How are you, Smeagol? So far from home among strange folk like us? No relatives? No one to talk to? You can talk to us, you know. Like friends. Friends trust each other. <laughs> yes, friends do not play nasty tricks. Yes, like that wizard. He was a very tricky old man. But the king saw right through him and sent him away. We can protect you from men like him. But see, to do so, we must know what he asked you. He asked about our birthday. Your birthday? And about flowers, irises of the willow lands where Smeagol lived when he was young. Nothing else? Oh, I swears. Good elves. They are such nice friends. <sighs> Very well, then. Neldis tells us that you help her with her lanterns. That's very thoughtful of you. You know, I saw the children play with one of them in the King's Garden. Oh, did you? I had to shoo them from the old tower again. I'm almost sure they left the light up there. You know, we can take you there if you'd like. Help you find it. Nice friends. Yes, yes, they will lead the way. Good Smeagol will follow. Excellent. Let's go. Because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers. That's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep your voice down. This is a solemn place. Beatles hum their peaceful song. That's where the children left the light? Yes, I believe so. Now it's your turn. We will wait here. Careful. Do you see it? Right there, where the swarm is. Don't worry, they don't bite. Yes, yes, nice beetles! Found it! Can you hear us? 
I feel dizzy. Uh, now tell us, what did the wizard ask you about? Oh, one moment. Beetles are humming so loud. What are you... No, wait! Ah. Ah. <laughs> Smeagol asks questions now. Where is Mel? Perhaps they know and don't tell us. They must tell us. Mel? Melia still. Don't know where she is. She must be dead by now. All blind and alone. Poor girl. But so ill-mannered. Never liked her. But now I miss her. The Riddle Master. Now elves must tell us all they know. Gwendol. Gwendol. He knew Mel quite well. Did you know? Everyone knew. It wasn't much of a secret. Ah. Well, that explains it. I visited him once. Gwendol. He didn't know that I had entered. He was talking to his mirror. His notorious vanity, I thought. But then I heard another voice reply. From beyond the mirror, I'm quite certain it was Mel. Sounding very kind for once. So I left so as not to disturb them. But Mirror, eh? The one in the Riddle Master's rooms. Good elves! They talk so very honestly today. What are you doing? Smeagol will have a look in the mirror. some gun.
tree again. Better. Nasty faces. More rooms. It's Mel. Mel with dark eyes. What is this? into the bark where we first met, remember? That shall be the password for the gate. Find me. Come to the source. It will be dangerous, but I am lost without you. What gate? Does it know where Mel is? Who are you? Of the haze, he said, 
And that is very unsafe. Not a good friend wants to lure Mel to dangerous places. You found them. Thank you, Smeagol. Now my circle will be complete. Circle? A ring of protection for tonight's feast. Like the haze? If you will, but far less ambitious. A place where Mel and Riddlemaster first met. The cook knows about it, yes? You don't give up, do you? I do remember that night, the big oak in... It was the first... Watch the king's... Our feast will be... I could take you there if you promised to behave. Then again, you always end up... <sighs> I am willing to trust you. What now? Now nothing. That's all you had to do. You are getting better, I see, and a breath of fresh air will not hurt you either. I shall take you to the tree tonight, if that is still your wish. Come to me whenever you are ready. She will take us to the tree. Help pack the lanterns. Not far south of here in the mountains. Abandoned hundreds. 